Hello and welcome to 11 Alive Midday at 11. I'm Cheryl Preheim. And I'm Ariana Manise and for Aisha Howard. It's been a big week of politics here in Georgia. Former President Donald Trump, he held two rallies and Vice President Kamala Harris returning tonight after spending the weekend here. You're getting a live look at Haldford Stadium in Clarkston. This is where Vice President Harris is campaigning tonight. As you can see, preparations are already underway. Harris is expected to speak at 7 p.m. Tonight's event is a get out the vote rally with former President Barack Obama. It marks the first time the two have campaigned on the same state. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas is live in Clarkston at Halt for Stadium ahead of yet another push to get Georgians to the polls early, Liza. Exactly, Ariana, and the message from the Harris campaign that they hope supporters will take away tonight is when we vote, we win, and we want to give you a little bit of a different vantage point from the ground because those supporters are starting to line up. Doors are expected to open here for the event around 2.30 this afternoon, and already there's a lot of activity taking place, vendors setting up, people getting in the queue, got their camp chairs ready, ready to get in and see what's really going to be another star-studded event tonight. As you mentioned, the vice president set to join the stage campaigning for the first time with Barack Obama in a stadium that can hold easily 15,000 people. Bruce Springsteen, Tyler Perry, and other stars also set to join tonight's rally as early voting continues in the state. With less than two weeks until Election Day, there have been more than 24 million early ballots already cast across the country, including 2 million ballots cast here in Georgia. The polls showing a tight race as the presidential candidates work to appeal to anyone who hasn't made up their mind yet. And during a town hall yesterday in Pennsylvania, the vice president, she faced some of those undecided voters on topics ranging from the economy to the border. Here's Harris making her plea that her Republican opponent is unfit to lead the country. The vast majority of us have so much more in common than what separates us. And I think that the American people deserve to have a president who is grounded in what is common sense, what is practical, and what is in the best interest of the people, not themselves. So when we talk about logistics for today, if you're planning your day, if you're in the area, well, the vice president is first set to land at approximately 3.30 p.m. this afternoon at Hartsfield Jackson. Then she'll be giving her remarks here at the stadium around 7 p.m. just to give you an idea of how that day is going to unfold. And then she's expected to take off again a little bit before 9 o'clock tonight. Of course, we'll keep you posted on her movement throughout the course of the day as well as how the event unfolds this evening. In the meantime, live for you in Clarkston, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. Liza, thank you. And we know that venue can seat about 15,000 people, so it could be a big crowd. The vice president's visit then sure to be an impact to traffic today across the metro as well. 11 Alive traffic expert Crash Clark joins us with a look at what could be a messy evening commute. Crash. Good morning. As we prepare for Kamala Harris's visit, here's what we could expect as far as the rush hour is concerned. We do know that she'll be landing at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport at around 335 this afternoon. Her campaign event in Clarkston scheduled for her to speak at 7 p.m. and then an 850 departure back at Hartsfield Jackson. As far as the event itself is concerned, it's located at the James R. Halford Stadium. This is just outside the perimeter north of Memorial Drive. So along with DeKalb PD, we're expecting major delays around noon to 530. I would even extend that to later in the evening, especially when she returns to the airport. As far as getting to the event, there's a few hours that we're not quite sure where she's going to be. But if she takes a direct route from the airport, watch for the perimeter all the way to Memorial Drive shut down. Memorial Drive itself, Memorial College Drive and North Indian Creek. And then, of course, that return turn back to Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. If anything changes, I'll be here at 4 p.m. to help guide you through it. Good luck.